welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. Today what we are going to make on the channel are some Valentine's Day treats. As you know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner and it can get mighty expensive if you decide to buy items that you have to buy for several people. These are easy. You can make them yourself. You can get the ingredients at the Dollar Tree, the grocery store, Amazon, whatever you like. I have three different treats for you today. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you stick around, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a video. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go with the strawberries. As you can see, I have a whole lot of stuff. You don't need this much stuff. I'm just bringing out options for you, so if you wanna you know, change the direction of your decoration, you can. I hope you can see well here. What I did was I washed my strawberries. I got these yesterday. I washed them real well, and then I laid them out so that they could dry. You want them really dry so that the chocolate could stick to them. And then I sorted them into sizes. I'm going to use these medium sizes first and then we'll work on the big ones, okay? And I have some decoration stuff that we're going to that I'm going to show you that I'm going to use. We're going to make the rose bouquet, the dozen roses, and then we're also going to use something smaller like this, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. I have some tissue paper, and then optional, I have some little boxes that you can get on Amazon different sizes. If you don't want to do them into a bouquet, you can do them into a little box, which looks beautiful. And then I have an assortment of sprinkles here, some coconut, and some food coloring, because I, I tinted one of my chocolates pink, because I, I think the pink just looks really, really nice with the bouquet. And then here I have my, my chocolates that I already melted. You melt them in the microwave in 30 second intervals, and just uh, give them a good little stir in between so that it can melt and that's it. I think we can get started. The first thing that we are going to do is prep our strawberries, okay? Like I said, we're gonna use the medium sizes first and I'm gonna get my skewers. These you can get just about anywhere. I'll link some down in the description box for you, but they have them at the Dollar Tree at your local grocery store. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of the chocolate on the skewer and then you're gonna to try to find the middle where the hardest part of the strawberry is, the part that we normally cut off, and then you just insert it, let it firm up so that it doesn't move around. Sometimes I add just a little bit on the top so that it can set up real nice and the strawberries won't move around. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 12 of these, 12 skewers, and then we'll move on. Okay, these are done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these from here so we can have some work area, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that the, the chocolate around the strawberries down here have firmed up, your strawberries will not wiggle around. So I think this is a real important step to keeping these strawberries uh, where you want them. So now what we're gonna do is I picked four colors, and if you're gonna put them in a bouquet, you kind of want a little theme here. So here I have some coconut, some pink pearls, some white sugar, coarse sugar that is real shiny, and then I have a mix right here. So we're gonna do three of each in each color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into the white. We're gonna do four in the white, and I like to dip the strawberries all the way into the chocolate so that everything is covered. Okay, I give it a good little shake so the excess can drip off. And see, this is why you want your strawberry firm so that it doesn't slip off the skewer. And now that I have it where I want it, I take my sprinkles and I'm gonna dip it into the sprinkles just so that I can get a whole lot of coverage on there. And if you don't get it all the way down where you want it, just pick it up and sprinkle it. Look at how pretty that looks already. And there you go, there's our first one, okay? And now I have a foam that I just covered up with some tissue paper, and I'm gonna put it in there, and I stand it up to where it's not gonna fall, and then we just keep going with our flowers. Okay, 
and now I'm going to change the, the sprinkle. up just a little bit so I don't have mess everywhere and now I'm going to change to the chocolate and the chocolate I'm going to put coconut and this one I'm just going to lay right there because the skewer was a little loose no biggie I'm gonna let this sit here and set, and I'll be back in a few minutes. The strawberries have set, as you can see. Now, the next thing I like to do to decorate them is, I got some of my chocolate that I had, and I put it into a piping bag. I got the chocolate and the pink, and what we are going to do is just drizzle them. So you cut a little bit of the tip off, not too thick. Just check it as you go, cut a little bit at a time. There we go, and then we'll do the chocolate, and then you just decide which ones you want with what color. And then, okay, like this white sugar one, I'm gonna do it with the pink, because I think that will look real pretty. Let me get close here. So what you do is just take the, the skewer in your hand, and then you're just gonna swirl it as you're piping. Put it down, just let it set, and then I might do it on this pink one with the pearls. You can do it this way. Whatever looks pretty to you. Just like that, and then set it down, and then we'll do the white, another white sugar one. And then, of course, those have to firm up as well. So you can't move them around until they firm up. And then we'll do this one. So you're keeping kind of with the same thing so that when you package them, everything is cohesive. And now we'll do one of the coconut ones with the chocolate. Look at that, how pretty that is. So I just set them down on the counter and then I'm just going to let them sit and then I'll do one of the white sugar ones as well. Look at how pretty that looks. It almost looks like ice. Let's see if you can see that. I'm going to keep doing these and then I'll be right back. set and we'll be back all right guys now everything the chocolate has firmed up and everything now the next thing we are going to do is we, we are going to group them in sets of three so I kind of just grabbed one of each I put a little rubber band you can do this with saran wrap if you like so I'm just gonna try to mix them up here and the important part here is to keep them all the same height okay so they're all sitting at about the same height because that's going to make a difference when you make your bouquet. And then you just twirl the rubber band at the bottom and then just move it up. Roll it up. So you want to put it about halfway up, just like that. Okay, so we're going to keep setting these in threes. And now we're going to bring on our tissue paper. I got this real pretty pink tissue paper at the Dollar Tree. You can get it pretty much anywhere. Okay, I do also have... This is in layers. I also have some clear wrap as well. And we're gonna kinda angle it there. And I also have this that I got at a floral wholesale. You don't have to have this. Let's see how pretty the design makes it look. So we're gonna put one face down. You can just put two clear if you want. And we're going to put this one face down with the point up like that. And then we're going to get our clear one. Okay, next we're going to put the pink one, both pinks. And you want to kind of scatter it like that so that they can see that there's more than one color here. So you want to keep it at a point. And then you put the clear one on. 
and you put the clear one on to protect the chocolates. Here it is at an angle. So now what we are going to do is we're gonna lay the strawberries down. It doesn't matter how at first, we'll end up fixing them. The main thing is to keep them all, to try to keep them all at the same height. So if you have to move them around to do that, and then we're gonna set them down just like so, and then we're gonna wrap a rubber band around all of these. Just be careful, don't stick yourself. And then just set it down. Let me put this one back. Accidents do happen. We put them up there like that. And then we're going to fold up the bottom corner here. Just enough to where it covers the skewers. Just like that. Okay, hold on to your strawberries in the meantime. And then we're going to be layering it just like this. We're going to be folding it. Kind of like a pleat right here so that the front part looks pretty. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then what I do with this last one, I cross it over just like that. Okay, now we've gotten to this point and what we wanna do is cover up the skewers. So I take this side, the left, one of the sides and I cross it over, try to make the pleats work with each other. And what I did is I wrapped a rubber band around it at the bottom. We're gonna take that off in a minute. And then we wrap our ribbon. I just picked the little ribbon that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I get a little piece of tape, put it on this end to where can't see it and there you go there's your dozen chocolate covered strawberries in a bouquet and then of course you fix the the bowl and there we go look at that how cute that is okay guys we're gonna move on to the next project okay we're gonna move on to our next project and for this little project I got one of these little heart boxes that uh, I get from the Dollar Tree. Now just cost you a buck. And what I do is I get a little bit of styrofoam and I hot glue it down to the base of the little box. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the little heart cover right up here, just with a little bit of hot glue. So we're just gonna measure this here and just put a little bit of hot glue there. I might have to tack the bottom part also. Then we are going to add a little bit of the crinkle paper you can get also at the Dollar Tree. I'm sure the grocery store has it as well. And just add it all around. Whatever color you like. I put white so that my strawberries could stand out. Okay, now what I did is I got some of these little skewers. They're actually toothpicks, but they're pretty large. Let me see if you can see them there. And what I did is I, I stuck them into the, the strawberries. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start placing the strawberries right in the center all around the arrangement. Now if you wanna just put like a dozen, count them out, whatever you think you wanna use per container. And then you just push them in, just like that. Look at how cute that's gonna look. And then some of these, I actually added a little heart. I added a little chocolate heart to those strawberries. I actually showed these in a haul the other day on my channel and they're the Russell Stover's Itty Bitty Hearts and that's what I added. You can get these at the Dollar Tree right now. At least at my Dollar Tree they had them. Okay, so we're just gonna keep adding and then just space them out however you wanna put them. Look at how cute that looks. See, that's just another idea of something that, so we have three, six, nine, you can put 12 if you like. I mean, there's room, I think, in here. If you want to put the dozen, and just keep putting them in there. And there you go. Look at that, how cute that is. Who is not going to want to get something like that? And you're not spending a whole bunch of money. I mean, I'm going to try to figure out how much I spent, but I don't think I spent over $5 just to make this this whole little container. And if you buy it in the store, you better believe you're going to pay more than $30. Let me give you a close-up. Look at that. 
How cute. Okay guys, there's our next project. Let's move on to the next one. All right, for the next project, what I did is I melted some of this white bark coating candy and I also did the chocolate. For the white, I added some pink gel food coloring just to give it some color. You can do them purple, uh, red, whatever, whatever colors you want to use. But the chocolate one I want to use for sure. I got these silicone mats off of Amazon. I will link them below. They might have these at Target, I'm not sure. And I got these little heart ones, candy molds as well. Okay, we are going to make what is equivalent to the cocoa bombs that they were making for Christmas. We're going to make out of heart shaped. Okay, so we're going to start first with the chocolate. But these, I have played around with them and you do have to make them a little bit thicker than the cocoa bombs because they're a little bit bigger and they will break. So I just did my brush into the chocolate and you make them just like you do the cocoa bombs. Fill the molds or line the molds, don't fill them. Make sure you get all the little areas. The first time around you want to do them thin. I'm going to pop them into the fridge for about five minutes and then we'll do the second coat. If you see some areas that you just plain missed, we'll go over it. Okay, let me pop these in the fridge. Okay, let's move the chocolate. Now I'm going to do the pink. Okay, I'm going to pop these in the fridge as well. Okay, now we are going to fill the smaller ones. Now the smaller ones, I am going to make them solid. So I just take my little spatula and I just fill it up. You can use a spoon, whatever you want to use. Then I give them a little tap on the counter. And I'm going to pop these in the fridge and I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to take these out, give them a second coating. Now that they're solid, just make sure you get everywhere, all the way around. Okay guys, I brought y'all in at a different angle. We're going to see if this works out better. Okay, these are solid now. I have the pink and the chocolate and the smaller ones. So let's start off with the smaller ones. Let's unmold these. And all you do is just really just pop them out, push them out from the bottom. And there you go. And what I do, sometimes they have little rough edges. I just take a little offset spatula and I clean up the edges. And this way everything looks nice. And there you go. Look at how cute these little hearts are. Okay, we're going to set these aside. Okay, now let's unmold these. And this, you work these just the way you unmold the other ones, the, the sphere ones. And see what happens sometimes if you don't get a clear... is we are going to add in our hot cocoa. I use this um, Starbucks hot cocoa salted caramel hot cocoa. It's delicious. So you're going to put it on one side and the whole package fits in one side of the heart. So we're going to do one and then we're going to add some marshmallows. I'm going to put white and then I'm going to put pink on this one. Okay, and here I have my hot skillet that we're going to do just like the other ones that we're going to press down the top part, melt it down a little bit, and then press it on real quick. And then I'm going to show you what to do if it doesn't seal completely. 
and move it to the side. I'm going to clean this off. Okay, and then we're going to do the pink one. Okay, so if you run into the problem where it doesn't seal completely, what I do is I melt a little bit more of the chocolate and I take my little brush and I just apply some there to make sure that it gets that it's secure and it's fine and then just even it out so your cocoa mix doesn't come out okay and you can do the same thing with the chocolate one okay just like that the next step for these what I do is I get some chocolate and I put some into some piping bags the same color as my hearts or whatever color you want to use and just cut a little piece of the tip and then I just go over it let that dry and then I do the pink one I hope you can see that and then I take my little heart whatever heart if you want to alternate them like I would put the pink on the chocolate just so that you could see it and the chocolate one on the pink and look at how cute that is I'm gonna let these dry and then I'll show you and if you want to add some more sprinkle on that chocolate you can and another thing I found is some of this uh, glitter it's edible glitter and then I just sprinkle it on top and this just gives it such a pretty effect and whoever you give these to they're really going to enjoy that look at that okay I'm going to let these dry and we're going to put everything else together alright now the last step for the cocoa bombs look at how pretty they look if you just want to have them for a presentation for the kids at home or for the husband or the wife or whoever I get these little containers on Amazon I don't know if you can see that and I use that kind and the little boxes and I will link these for you below so I put the whatever heart you pick and they fit perfectly in this container so if you're going to transport them and give them as gifts you can just pop them in these and they'll be safe to travel. They won't move around. Look at that, how cute that is. Or you can pop it into one of these. This one does not close all the way, but you can just put a little piece of tape there. If you don't put the heart on top, see, you can just put a little piece of tape or a little heart sticker right there and that'll be fine. Okay guys, that's going to conclude the video of these uh, heart cocoa bombs and the strawberry bouquet and the strawberry filled boxes. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you all give these a try. And if you do decide and put it on your social media, don't forget to tag me so I can go take a look. If you enjoy the content, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go visit us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.